Hello and welcome to the Greenfoot video tutorials. My name is Michael Kölling and I will um, talk today about how to display text in a Greenfoot scenario. Displaying text is quite often interesting if you want to display, say, a score in a game or some other textual information. Um, in Greenfoot the best way to display text is to create an actor that has the text as its image. I'll show you how we do this. To start with here I have a very simple scenario that just has a ball here. Uh, when I run the scenario it just bounces back and forth. Let's say we want to add a label that counts how often this ball has bounced off my wall. So let's get started with doing this. To um, display the text I will create a new actor subclass which I will call label. Label is just an object that can display a text label. I do not need to choose an image for this class. Um, it by default gets this Greenfoot icon here that is good enough. We will see in a moment why that is because I will actually dynamically create an, Im an image for objects of this class. So when I open the um, source code for this class now, the first thing I do is I add a constructor for this class. A constructor is similar to a method except it has the same name as the class and it has no return type. And the difference in execution of a constructor is that this bit of code that I'm going to write here now in the constructor will get executed automatically every time an object of type label is constructed. So what I'm doing here now is I'm creating my own image to use for the label objects dynamically. Um, if we have a look for a moment at the Greenfoot class documentation um, and we look at the actor class. We can see that um, in the actor class there is a set image method here available that allows me to set an image. The image that I'm setting here is of type Greenfoot image. If I look at the Greenfoot image class um, I can create Greenfoot image in various ways. There are three constructors here and one option is to create an image uh, by just specifying the width and height. That's what I'm going to do. So here, first thing I do is I declare a local variable of type Greenfoot image, which I call IMG, short for image. So I'm creating here a local variable image and then I'm creating an object of type Greenfoot image um, and I specify how big I want it. Let's say I want it 100 pixels wide and 30 pixels high. So what I'm getting here is I'm creating, getting a new image object that's 100 pixels wide, 30 pixels high and completely transparent. So if I were to look at it, it is invisible because every pixel is completely see-through. But I can now start to um, draw or write on this image. If you look again at our documentation for the Greenfoot image class, we can see it's got a lot of um, methods here for drawing onto that image. I can draw a line, I can draw an oval, I can draw a polygon. I can here draw a string onto my image. The parameters is the string itself that I want to draw and the x and y coordinates on the image where I want to draw this string. Let's do that. So here I can now say to my image, image dot draw string and I specify the string I want to draw. Let's say I draw hello and I can specify where on my image I want to draw this. I'm going just a couple of pixels from the left edge and then say 20 pixels down. So what I'm specifying here that is the baseline of the string. So I need to go a little bit down because it's essentially the bottom line of the string um, where uh, th that I'm specifying with this point here. And so now I've created an image that was blank. I have drawn a string onto that image and now I have to say that I want to use this new image as the image for my actor. So I say here set image for my label. I want to use this image. Let's try this out. If I compile this and then I create an object of this label and I put it in here. As soon as I get inserted into the world the constructor runs and the image gets created and hello gets written on it. Notice while I'm dragging this, here it's still got the little Greenfoot icon. B 
because at the moment the constructor um, hasn't run yet. As soon as I click, the constructor gets executed and an image gets created. Now I don't always want the same text on here, so it would be actually a lot more flexible if I introduce a parameter um, of type string to this label constructor. And here, instead of always writing hello, I write this text which I have specified in the parameter. If you try this out, now if I create a label, see the constructor now has a parameter. So as soon as I drop this object into my world, I get prompted to specify um, the parameter for my constructor. Um, and I type in a string and here it becomes visible. So this is very good. There are a couple of problems still. One is, for example, if my text is too long, um, so if I write here a longer bit of text, um, I see it just says a longer bit of. The word text is cut off. The reason is that um, here um, the image is only 100 pixels wide. And so if the text gets too long, it just doesn't fit on the image. And here the image ends and the text gets just cut off. So here what I want to do is I want to um, make the size of the image dynamic. I want to make it dependent on the length of the text. So I can say here text dot um, get what is the get size? Is that the right? No, it's not called get get length. What is it called? The uh, get length. Uh, no. Um, let me look in the documentation. We all have these blanks sometime. Now I want to actually look at the general Java doc documentation and find um, the documentation for the general string class. Here, string. And then we see whether we can find out how we can find out the length of a string. Um, there is a Uh, length. It is not called get length. It is just called length. Okay. So let's go back here. So we use text.length to find out the length of the text that we want to um, display here. But we have to remember that this is in number of characters, whereas the Greenford image is in pixels. So let's just multiply that by 20, because I know that 20 pixels per character is enough in the font size that I currently have. So if we try that out again now, I put another label in. Oops, I put another label in here and I say a longer bit of text and hit OK. Um, there it is and it is now displayed in full. Okay, so this is pretty good. 